Mm -hmm. So we have heat exchangers where we exchange the heat between the water loop inside and the ammonia loop outside. So that's one location where ammonia can uh, leak if you have a failure inside the heat exchanger, which they're designed to prevent. Um, you could potentially uh, leak ammonia because at higher pressure outside, you could leak ammonia into the water loop. And, and so this failure mode that we saw this morning, this alarm, indicated that the accumulator was filling up. Okay. But we okay. sent the cr crew to the Russian segment to be safe finally decided maybe this is just a, a, a um, some sort of MDM problem because so many we lost so many measurements at one time. We let the crew come back into uh, the U.S. lab. And then uh, shortly after that, the pressure started to climb in the cabin. That's a, that's a confirming cue. And so then we went through the procedure. The crew donned the mask again and went back in the Russian segment and have been there ever since. Um, so we have a couple steps in front of us. Um, uh, the first is to get the power-ups done, uh, which the team is doing, or I should say one, is to get the power-ups power done that the team is working on. Mm -hmm. And the second, then, is to get insight into the accumulator to uh, confirm that the system is tight like we uh, believe it to be, uh, and so we can bring the crew back into the U.S. segment. So that's where we are right now. We would like to get the crew back in the U.S. segment tonight. Okay. Uh, that would be our goal. Um, it's while it's inconvenient for the crew to be in the Russian segment, it's certainly not um, unhealthy for them. Mm -hmm.